In the President's State of the Union Address, he put out a call for 100,000 additional science, technology, engineering, and math teachers over the coming 10 years. We thought about this and thought about how our schools and our community could respond to the challenge that he had set forth. But we also understood that there was no angle on reaching that goal without thinking more creatively about who is inside of schools, who is teaching and helping to transmit knowledge and skills in the science, technology, engineering, and math fields to our students. When we thought about what it would take to have innovation in the sector, mm -hmm. we imagined a two-by-two two grid. So a picture a grid that has full-time and part-time on the top and long-term and short-term. But when we thought about what was long-term but only part-time, there was almost nothing in that quadrant, very little in that sector. And we realized that that was where we could do innovation, where we could help to spur innovation. And so what we imagine are partnerships between companies and nonprofits and schools and school districts. Applying is really quite easy. You can come on to changemakers.com, um, create an online profile, um, and then visit uh, the competition site, which is very easy, changemakers.com backslash STEM education. We're very interested in those individuals who are willing to step it up, show their passion, show their interest, present their idea, and then hopefully win uh, one of our prizes um, to help take their idea forward. We envision that out of this competition will emerge dozens or hundreds of ideas uh, that at their core work for schools and for the people who initiate them and can be in theory models or replicable or innovated off of um, prototypes for other innovations in other places or in other sectors. And so what we hope for five years down the road is not just a few models of uh, intrepid folks doing this work in schools, but actually hundreds of places where what you see are schools that are porous institutions, fluid, um, and interacting with their communities in ways that they don't right now.